everyone welcome back to my channel so um first of all i'm sitting in my kitchen because the boys are in the living room watching their tv show and it's quite loud um and i want to film a quick video for you guys i've been getting a lot of recent questions um about aaron um he turned one and a lot of you guys were actually asking why i didn't do like a one year baby update um, the reason being was I actually intended on uploading his um, birthday vlog and then that will kind of update you on everything but I just haven't got around to it. Um, it just takes a lot of editing and I just don't have the time or the energy right now so I haven't done that. So I thought, you know what, I'll just do the sit down video really quick. Oh, and here he comes. Hi. I'll do the sit down video really quick just kind of telling you where he's at actually. Hi. Hey. Hi there. So, um, basically the first thing I really want to talk about is actually his bottles. So he is basically weaned. He only gets uh, one bottle a day. Hi. He gets one bottle a day and that is at night before bed. And he also is off of formula. So we only put almond milk. <gasps> almond or coconut milk? He wants to sit on my lap. We put almond or coconut milk in the bottle and he gets that and he loves it. He did not even really notice when we just stopped giving him the formula. He just likes the almond milk and he does really well with it. Yes, you do. And you love coconut milk. So that's, no, you can't, you can't, you can't take it and eat it. So that's what he's doing with his bottle. He gets one, a bottle randomly if he's really fussy, but right before his nap, but it's not a bottle. I actually put the almond or coconut milk in his like little straw sippy cup and he actually likes that and he doesn't seem to be missing it. So he's down to one a day and I'm hoping within the next maybe two weeks, no, you can't grab it. Within the next two weeks, he'll be officially off the bottle. Okay, okay, gentle. Sorry, he's trying to grab the camera. The next thing I wanna talk about is his sleeping. Um, he decided for the past two weeks, he used to sleep through the night, no problem, right till the morning. And now he decides that he is going to wake up about three to four times every night and just cry. I don't go into his room, I don't touch him because if I start going in there and petting him to sleep or giving him food or whatever, he's going to kind of start expecting it and I'm just gonna, it's gonna screw me over. So, but he definitely has regressed his sleep. Sorry, I'm switching it this way. He has regressed and it sucks because he wakes up three times a night and he cries for like an hour straight. He doesn't give up, he just cries and cries. <laughs> and I'm not worried about him at all. Um, we have a monitor and stuff in there, but it's not even that, I'm not even worried about him. It's just I cannot sleep when I hear crying. So I haven't been getting much sleep as it is being pregnant and now this little crazy bug um, is waking up and now I can't sleep even more because I hear him crying. So that has been really frustrating. I don't know why he's lately starting to wake up. If it's separation anxiety, bad dreams, like he goes in my drawers, oh my gosh. Anyways, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, why did you fall? You found cupcake uh, liners, huh? Um, so yeah, so that's what's with that. Um, in terms of his actual sleeping, hi John, he, go on the potty, honey. Go, 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 go on the potty, go on the potty. He wakes up at 8 a.m. with his brother, Obviously he wakes up throughout the night like I just said, but like officially for the morning They're both up at around 8 a.m. So we actually do get a decent sleep. He goes to bed at um, 8 15 8 30 and then yeah, and he'll wake up by 8. So he gives us a solid 12 hours However, a lot of those hours are spent crying at night. He goes to bed 100% on his own I literally feed him his nighttime routine is a diaper change um His bottle and while he's drinking that bottle. I will be reading him two of his favorite books and oh careful there i forget the author but one is called um the going to bed book and the other one is called red hat green hat or something he's in love with those two books so i'll read him those two books and then um i just lie him in his crib and he falls asleep on his own so he's really good at putting himself to sleep um he's a really good boy overall he has been teething again and i see him putting his finger in his mouth pushing on the heat um hi pushing on his tooth or a molar or something like that's coming in. So I, I think it's a molar. So that's what he's been doing. So he's teething. Um, in terms of what he eats throughout the day, he eats whatever we eat and it's a lot. His favorite food right now is avocado. He'll eat a plain avocado just straight up and he'll eat like a million of them if I let him, which I don't because it's so much, so fattening. But he loves eggs. He really will eat anything, but he just constantly wants to eat and snack, don't you? Um, Okay, what else? I think that's actually really it for his 
for his update. He is very tall. He currently weighs the exact same weight as John. He's 32 pounds. And so, well, last time that we weighed John, John was 32. So they were, they are the same weight. Um, I don't know if John maybe gained more now or whatever, but John has been really slimming out and this guy has been packing it on probably from the avocados. So yeah, he's 32 pounds, which is a lot for a one year old, but He's all right, he's stocky, he's so sturdy, he's walking really, really well. He climbs up the stairs, but he also climbs down the stairs now. Um, he's actually pretty cautious and safe, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about him too much. Now I'm not like always panicking he's gonna fall down the stairs because he goes down backwards, he's holding on, he's doing really well. So, is that it? He's really trying to start to feed himself with a spoon. I ha haven't really let him too much because he makes a big mess and it is hard for me to bend right now to clean, but he definitely cries for the spoon and wants to. What happened, Bubba? Oh, poor baby. Um, so yeah, so that is it for the, oh, look at all my guys. That is it for his update. So I hope I answered all your questions. Sorry I didn't post a one year baby update, but I just thought I would do the vlog instead. And I will still try to post his birthday vlog at some point if, if it doesn't end up being too late. It's just a lot of editing from his birthday party and yeah, and I just, I'm just too tired right now. Don't touch the camera though, baby. Okay, say bye. Bye. Okay, Aaron, say bye. He, he says a few words. And you're so good at, at talking on the phone? Okay. Anyways, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Okay, don't hit the screen. Bye. We, we appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. We love you all, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. bye. Can you say bye? No, no, my, not, my, 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 my,